Where are we with the love of Islam? Where are we with the love the Prophet ﷺ taught when there were people who threw upon him dirt? There was an elderly lady who threw upon him dirt regularly. One day it didn't come in his direction. He went back to inquire. My dear mother, today I want to know what's wrong with you. Are you okay? What brings you here? What do you want to ask about? Well, every day when I pass here, then you throw something on me, right? Today it didn't come. So I thought maybe you're not well. I came to see is there something I can do for you? Wow. With us, we start a war. First on WhatsApp, and then on Facebook, and then on Instagram, and then on Twitter, and then somewhere else. We're fighting, we're jealous, we want to show everyone everything, every little thing. There's a photo of it. So those who don't have, they, their hearts hurt. They become jealous of us. Why do you want to showcase everything? Yes, you may want to perhaps one or two matters of goodness. If for some reason that has benefit in it, you might want to show things. But my brothers and sisters, I warn you. If you want Rahmah and mercy of Allah, be considerate of those who don't have what you are showing them on Facebook and Twitter. A lot of the times there are people who show things that they don't own. You know, they will go to a store and they will try out this dress and take a photo. Try out another dress, take a photo. They didn't buy any dress, but they've got all those photos on Facebook and Twitter, pretending like they owned it. That's all pretense. That's not photoshopped. That is actually literally going in and doing window shopping and pretending like it was you. You haven't bought anything. And then the poor salesmen and the saleswomen, they look at these people and they say, are you just doing this for Facebook? <laughs> yes, it has happened. They look at you and they ask, are you doing that? Are you really a buyer or are you just wasting my time? So much so that I've come across a website that tells you, you can go on holiday anywhere in the world without actually going there. How? We can take photos of you in France and here and there and Photoshop them and you can pretend to your friends why it's become a fake life. You show people what you really are not. That's what it is. It's fake. What type of mercy will you have when you are merciless regarding the others? Why show? Why make people's hearts hurt? Is that what a Muslim is all about? Is that what Islam is? Subhanallah. No, it's not. Go back to the teachings of Islam. Lead a simple life. Be happy with the small things. Reach out to others. You want the mercy of Allah? Have mercy on others whom Allah has created. Irhamu man fil ardi, irhamkum man fil sama. Be merciful upon those on earth. The one in the heavens will have mercy on you. That is what the hadith says. Man la yarham la yurham. Whoever does not have mercy will not be shown mercy either. So you want to achieve the mercy of Allah. All you need to do is have mercy on others as well. Be merciful, be kind. Don't be stingy, selfish, niggardly. Think about yourself. Alone, no, think about others. Be considerate. When you eat out every day because your husband can afford it, the others cannot afford. They cannot afford to eat out every day. So what would happen? Perhaps they might see you with all your food every day. Then you are complaining, my stomach is aching. And people are wishing for what's inside there. You don't even know you were showing them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease.